comedy, but I, I get sick of telling people, so I've kind of stopped telling them because I got the same reaction every time I would say it. They, they would either say, say something funny or make me laugh. And I'm thinking, you know what, I won't call this a job because I'm sure as hell not making any money at it yet. But for some people it's a job and it's a skill. And I don't know what other profession we expect people to perform like on command. I can tell you when I'm out and about with friends, if I meet somebody and they say, oh, I'm a gynecologist. You can be damn sure I am not laying spread eagle on the floor of a TJI Friday saying, oh, things are happening to me. I mean, <laughs> But when you say you have, you know, you do comedy, it's like, oh, you gotta be on. And I get similar reactions from guys that I date when I tell them that I do comedy. It's always like, oh, I don't want to end up in your act. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty much all up to you, now, isn't it? But, and you know, how can I not talk about dating? It's so great material, you know? Sometimes I feel like the Statue of Liberty, you know, I mean, she's out there with her torch, like, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, or whatever the hell that was. It's kind of like, give me your stupid, your cheap, your cheating, your lying, you know what I mean? Just bring them all on, and we'll take them on. And, you know, I'm in my late 30s, and I feel like I'm at a really good age to date, because I can date a guy who's either studying the history of Pearl Harbor, or a guy who's made history at Pearl Harbor. You know, it all depends on where I want to go in the spectrum. Do I want late nights and happy meals, or do I want the early bird special at Denny's? It's really, you know, where do I want to be in the spectrum? That's it, you know? But I have some friends who will give up, because they're like, you know what, I've just been burned too many times. I'm staying in, you know? If you do that, you really just have to hope you have a hot UPS guy. That's all I can say. Otherwise, how are you going to meet anyone? And my philosophy is you got to play to win. You want to win a million dollars, you buy a lottery ticket. So I'm always willing to, I've been online dating, I've let friends set me up, and I have this one couple, God love them, Sharon and Lee. Her husband's a mechanical engineer, so he works with a ton of guys. Well, it gets a little creepy, his efforts, because he's got my face on his screensaver on his computer, and all of his framed photos are of me, none of his children, and it's a little weird. But whenever someone starts at the company, he's like following them now into the men's room to see if they're married. And I'm a little concerned for his safety because they're not going to know he's trying to look for their wedding band. You know, I think he's going to get beat up. But, you know, they, they mean well and they set me up and that's fine. And I'm, I'm good with that. I'm always willing to try. But it starts to get annoying. As I get older, apparently my criteria is supposed to go lower. And they'll call me up and say, we've got this guy, but we just have one question. What's more important to you, hair or teeth? <laughs> um, hi, I, I don't know, and I, excuse me for being a finicky bitch, apparently, but I would, you know, I, yeah, I'm a little bit finicky, I want the guy I date to have hair, teeth, a couple other little things, like, oh, a job that gives him a paycheck, um, you know, a visible waistline, an IQ at least as high as his age, if not higher, God willing, and a residence he does not share with his mother or 50 inmates, okay? You would think on a, you know, you could find those things, but on a good night, I'm lucky if I can hit two of those criteria. So it's because of that that I'll blame it on that. This past summer, I tried something different. I dipped my foot, and a lot more than that, into the kiddie pool of dating. I dated a guy who was 11 years younger than me, and I gotta say, I should have had the first clue with a backwards baseball cap, the fraternity sweatshirt, and the flip flops that maybe we were not a match. <laughs> but I thought, hey, I'm 37, I've lived this long, what the hell's a couple more months out of my life? So, you know, we went out, and uh, in the beginning, we had some problems with the language barrier, because you'd be like, Dude, my phone is blowing up. And I was like, oh, I guess his cell phone is malfunctioning. But what it really meant is that he had so many people calling him, he was just like being bombarded. His phone was blowing up. And uh, the other one, he'd say, he'd be hanging out with his friends every night, and he'd say, oh, yeah, we were just burning. And I thought, oh, no, I hope they don't have a fever. And then I was worried maybe they were like, you know, are they pyromaniacs? I don't know. And he's like, oh, no, burning means smoking pot. 
Oh, cool. Okay. So we, <laughs> we didn't have a lot of the same interests, hobbies, friends, anything, ambition, that kind of thing. But, you know, I figured, what the hell, I'll, I'll try it. And, you know, my married friends, of course, were so psyched about it. They're like, 11 years younger, that's so hot. And then I'd look at him and I'd see that shit-eating grin in the backwards hat. And I'm like, what the hell is this idiot even doing in my house? <laughs> office and have them wonder who they should give the lollipop to. <laughs> you know? Like, I want to have kids, I don't want to date them. You know, but it, it's kind of gotten to a point now where I've kind of got a bad rap in my neighborhood because all of the women with teenage and college age sons are looking at me funny. It's like, okay, I'm not going to slip a roofie into their juice boxes. <laughs> you know, and this one woman in particular in on our neighborhood, Kathy, like she's got uh, this son who's, you know, he's about 20. I'm like, really, Kathy? I've been seeing you looking at me. I know you're hearing stories. Trust me. I'm really not after your son. Really, it's true. I mean, have you looked at him lately? I mean, really looked at him lately? I mean, he really does have a face that only you could love. I mean, come on. Uh, and now your poppy, on the other hand, is 